था What's up YouTube, this is Chris with the Model Trust 360 and today I thought I'd uh, go ahead and release my application that I created, XB360 Modder version 5.0. Um, if you've been a subscriber for a long time, you remember the name from the current versions that I have released, um, but this is the newer version and it makes all the other ones look like shit, so I mean, that's just the nice way of putting it. Um, you're going to love this program, at least I hope you do. Um, also, this is the third time I made this video. The first time, it was around 16 minutes long because I was getting very detailed into it and the second time I had my mic off so um, just wasted maybe 20 minutes of my life right there but I've got my mic on now at least I hope I do let me make sure yes I have my mic on and I'm gonna get right into this um, so basically um, we'll start off with updates that I've made um, I created a Facebook fan page which is here you can click on this link. Um, you can actually go to this page. Um, all my updates will be uh, go will uh, be uploaded straight to this. Um, I also put this lock button on my website, so make sure you guys sign up to my website. Click lock when you go to this page, and you I'll keep you guys updated on everything. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. We don't need that anymore. And there will be a lock button here, um, but I already locked it, so. Uh, it says unlock, but you will have a lock button there. Go ahead and close this out, and we'll get uh, go ahead and get started with the application. So once you download the file, um, I will put it under the download section. The link will be at my download section, not a direct download, because you're going to need to have an account on my website to sign into this. So um, if you don't have an account, you might as well just go straight to my download page and download it. But to get to my download page, you have to sign up. So um, just go ahead and sign up. It's not a painstaking process. It just takes a few minutes. And go ahead and download this, and you'll be set to go. I'm going to show you guys. As you can see, my information is saved, but I'm just going to click Forget My Info. And I'm going to show you guys that the Forget My Info feature works. So as you can see here, it's no longer here. But if we type in our information... And we'll say password. I'll just enter something random to show you guys. Click login, and it's going to connect to my server. If your email or password is incorrect, you're going to get an error like this, saying your email or password is incorrect. It's going to take to try again. So we'll go ahead and I'll enter the correct password. Click remember me. I'm going to go ahead and close this out and open this back up. And as you can see, it remembers our information. So just go ahead and click login, and it'll connect to the server once again. And if this information is correct, it's going to let us log into the application. Um, once you click OK, it's going to check for updates automatically. So if there's no updates, it should start without a message coming up saying, hey, you have an update. So as you can see, there's no updates. And start off with the main interface here. We have an account bar here at the bottom. This tells you who you're signed in as. Uh, the last time you logged in, so the last time I logged in was at 902 today, and it's now 920. Uh, your account type, so um, if you are an administrator, a moderator, or just a site member on my website, you'll see that at the bottom what you are. And Xbox about XB360 Modder, start off with the credits tab here. Uh, you're going to have my links to my YouTube channel, my website, and my 7 Cents profile. Um, mainly I've done this because a couple of guys on TTG released this, the previous version of this, version 4.0 on TTG claiming that it was theirs and people started believing them and I didn't get the credit that I deserved and I even put my gamer tag and my website on there and they still believe the other people so this right here mainly for safe uh, mainly for um, security reasons on this because people for some reason like to steal the applications that I create um, so we'll go ahead and close this out and we have a chat box here and then we have a news and updates feature so I'm gonna go ahead and put hey click send as you can see that this does work so um also these features won't be here for you the delete and ban these are only administrative uh, privileges um so you can close this out as you can see people have already started using my chat box i released this on seven sins last night so i had the opportunity for a couple of people to download this was there um as you can see over here news and updates it says 12:39 today i released the app on seven sins and releasing on my youtube channel well i kind of got sidetracked playing mafia 2 and didn't get to release it but you can either click this button or click the actual bar and it'll actually open that up so we'll start over here report um i'm going to go ahead and enter my username which is this right here 
and password which is this right here and SMTP server if you're using a Yahoo account you need to click what's my SMTP server and find out what your server name is if you're using Gmail it's smtp.gmail.com this will be different it's not going to be SMTP and then your actual provider.com um, it will be different so you need to make sure you check out the SMTP server list um, so we're going to say from we're just going to I'll paste that into there subject hey this is a test and scroll down and click send if your information up here is incorrect you should get an error uh, you'll be able to re-sign back in to make sure everything is correct and your message has been sent so I'm going to open up this as you can see hey this is a test this way this way you can actually report a bug that you find in the application or you can just give me suggestions about it. Um, fun stuff this is a media player for some reason on the media player though I get an error whenever I try to load up a song but it still allows me to play it so I'm just going to open up a Everybody in the place hit the fucking deck. As you can see, we did get an error, but it still allows you to do that. Um, I'm looking to fix that in the near future, but for now, it'll still allow you to play your music, as you can see here. And going to close this out. Um, donate, of course, you guys know what that is. Just if you enjoy this, please donate. Um, this will keep um, a lot of my applications coming. It'll keep uh, upgrades to my site, different things of that. So you can click visit us. Um, this will take you to my website in a web browser here. Uh, you, as you can see, you're already signed in. So what, whoever you sign in to as at the very beginning, you'll automatically be signed in here so you can access my website quickly and easily if you're already browsing my program. Um, device Explorers, uh, you have Export, Explorer, and USB XTAF. Um, profile Tools, you have EZG 2.2 and Profile Editor. These are, were all in my last one. Uh, last update except USB XTAF and as you can see avatar color editor I actually created this myself so we'll click open profile and we're just going to open up our profile so I'm going to open up this random profile that I have and as you can see it has the colors loaded into here loading colors reading colors and it tells you what you're doing so we'll change this to red and change this to maybe an orange and then we'll go and click save and as you can see it says avatar successfully modded and it says don't forget to rehash and resign which is over here so I'm going to close this out, open this back up, and open up that profile once again. As you can see, our color changes did take effect, so it did successfully mod our avatar. So um, hex editors, um, the only thing I added was hex workshop from the last update. Um, I can't code a hex editor, so I put all external programs in here. All these game tools I created, I'm going to open up these three because these I actually have saves for. So Grand Theft Auto Money Editor, we'll go ahead and open up our Grand Theft Auto tool. Current money, a whole bunch of nines, we'll maybe change this to one, and click save. And it'll say, file save, don't forget to rehash and resign. So click OK. We're going to reopen our profile, or our game save, and current money is one. So as you can see, that does work. Same with Dead Rising, this mods your level. This is a Dead, Ris Dead Rising level editor. As you can see, current level 50, maybe we'll change this to 30, and click save, and click OK. As you can see, our, it does say our current level is 30, just click open and we'll reopen this and as you can see our level is 30 uh, MW2 clan tag editor will click open fall uh, open this profile this should have a uh, clan tag on it I just got this off modio and as you can see right here clan tag fuck well apparently somebody already modded this so we're, maybe we'll change this to shit and if you put one extra as you can see it'll get an error saying clan tag must only be four characters so we'll just go ahead and shave that as shit click save and we're going to open up this file once again to make sure this did work correctly and as you can see, it does change our clan, te clan tag to whatever we want it to be. Um, I don't have a Tekken 6 game save, so this does work. Um, under the miscellaneous tab, we have Modio Horizon and COD Tool. Um, those are all from the last XB360 modder version. On Con Viewer, this allows you to view any container file that you want, um, the spec specs about it. So we'll click Open Con, and maybe we'll open this profile. As you can see, we have the image of it what game it is which should just be Xbox 360 the top which just gives you your account number and game ID which is of course the game folder go ahead and close that out and as you can see here if you hover over this the text should disappear and I'm just going to enter my friend's name um, Tay Laser and I think that's actually a uh, lowercase and click generate and hopefully I got his gamer tag right and I did 
And as you can see, it'll show your avatar, your avatar picture, gamer picture, and gamer card. He does have his privacy settings enabled, so you can't see his games. But that's pretty much what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and save his avatar to my desktop. We'll sa save this to as Laser, since his name is Laser. And as you can see, it saves it over here. So just right-click on this, and we'll preview this. And here we go. We have the avatar saved to our desktop. So we can actually put that into anything we want. If we're making a form signature and you want that in there, just go right ahead and throw that in there. I'm not going to show you these other functions. These save just the gamer card, gamer picture, and avatar. Those are pretty much self-explanatory. So package manager, this is our rehash and resigner. So we're just going to open up a file. So we'll open up this, click open and file contents it will just tell you what's on the profile and click rehash and resign. Now this will rehash and resign your file so now you can actually put it on your Xbox and you should have your modern clan tag. Um, Easter egg, add a, I'll add a riddle here. Um, once you answer this, if you answer this correctly a new form should pop up in here tell you that you've won and tell you what you've won. Um, so each time somebody wins it, if they do win it, um, I'll update this and change the riddle and change the answer. Um, if you do win this, make sure you click click print screen on your keyboard while you're viewing my application with that form open, and then send me a picture of it to prove that you actually won. So now I'm gonna go show you guys the close. Also updates, you can check for any updates. I'm gonna close this out. So as you can see, that's my new application. I hope you enjoy this. Sorry, this is kind of lengthy. I hope you made it all the way through it, and I hope to see you guys very soon because I'll be making a setup video, which is this file here. Um, I've had this on my computer for a while and I've already gained like 250 subs in like two days and I uh, just hit 2k not long ago and that's when I was going to upload that so I haven't had time to upload that but I should get it uploaded pretty soon. So if you guys enjoyed this um, please check out my Facebook, Twitter, website all those will be in, in the description just make sure you subscribe to those feeds so I can give you guys the most updates and the most I don't know how to put it, but give, just give you the most um, like interaction between me and the fans of Inmobitrus 360. So I hope you enjoyed this video, enjoy the app. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe to this video, and I'll see you guys very soon.